And I am so excited to share, begin sharing my health journey with you and hopefully be able to help you. Um, but first I want to ask you a question. Have you ever thought to yourself, I should or I ought to change, but you just haven't changed yet? Um, has that ever crossed your mind and something's just holding you back, like fear of failure or not feeling motivated? Have you ever heard the quote that pain pushes until vision pulls? So, so another quote I want to share with you is, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. If you don't make a change, if you don't do anything to change, then nothing will change. So it starts with making a change. So today what I want to talk to you about is what is your vision? What is the why that makes you want to change or think that you ought to change? And um, I just want to get into that with you today and hopefully encourage you. So let's get into it. So are you nervous to try for fear of failure? I get you. I was you. I was terrified of failure. I even feel embarrassed to show you my before picture. I tried to hide my weight gain because this was the most that I had weighed my whole life. I finally got to the point that I said enough is enough. Change has to happen. I have to get me back. I have to be healthy. I had to think about what I needed at that time and what I could do to tell myself that I could make it happen. And I began to think about why I wanted the change and then to tell myself that I will succeed this time. I will not fail. And my whys, I had to understand my whys to keep me going. And just like I want to tell you, you will feel great again. You will feel beautiful again. You will like and enjoy shopping again. Um, you will be able to inspire others because this program, it takes the thinking off the plate. Um, it gets you back in the kitchen, enjoying cooking, easy recipes for dinner. Um, and then it makes other things easier for you throughout the day. And the, the program I'm on makes it simple. The, the routine and the simplicity of the program, um, it relieves anxiety and stress. And that's just a few reasons why I am excited to share what I'm doing with you, share some encouragement with you that you too can do this. And another is to carry on the legacy of my mom and my sister who passed way too soon, way too young. My mom had some health issues and passed um, early at 69 and my sister was only 48 who had uh, passed from complications from the pandemic and both of their passings devastated me and i had to pull myself up and try to take care of myself and to think about what they would want and i can carry on their legacy and honor them in that way so here i am on my health journey doing great continuing on my journey and it started with my why, knowing why I wanted to make this change and then the goodness of God to step out, to take the first step and then the rest followed. So as you could see in my after pictures, that when my why became stronger and bigger than my fear of failure, then my mind could not be changed. My mind was set that I was ready to make a change and I was going to make that change, whatever it took. And my mind is still set on that um, as I have lost weight and I'm still losing weight. Um, but first, my, my whys were the normal whys. You know, I wanted to feel better in my skin. I wanted to look better in the mirror, you know, to, to not be so upset about what I saw in the mirror to feel more confident. 
but then my whys got even bigger and then it got into my health became more important than fear of not being able to do it. Um, that I didn't want to carry the extra weight anymore for my back, for my knees, for my joints, for my organs. You got to think about your, your heart. There's blood pressure and everything else that I had to start thinking about. Hormones, have my hormones balanced. Um, so weight loss is like the first step in that direction, is one of the steps in that direction um, to help me get healthier and was a big why for me. And as I was writing out all my whys, then my whys got even bigger. Um, such as I want to be a great example as a health coach, as a biblical health coach, already certified as a biblical health coach and now uh, doing more health coaching. So I wanted to be, I want to be that great example to others to inspire others to lose weight and to be healthy. And I want them to see that in me. And then even more, I wanna live the abundant life that Jesus came to give me. John 10, 10, he said, the, the thief comes, the thief, which is the devil, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. And I believe abundant is a full, satisfying life. He came to also give us eternal life, but he also said he came to give us abundant life. And I believe he wants good things for us. And another why, which I share, uh, which I just shared about my mom and my sister, you know, to live the way that they would want me to live my life and to be able to, um, to live their legacy what they would want me to live so that I can honor them in a healthy way and continue to honor my mom and my sister. And then the best reason and why of all was to be the best, the very best version of me that I can be, that God created me to be. So the best version of me that God created me to be in order to fulfill the plans and the plans and the calling that he has on my life so to do that from a place of being healthy and whole and being able to serve when you're sick or um, when things might be holding you down it's harder to um, to serve and to do certain things so i want to be able to do it fully and to be that example that could also help others and inspire others to also be healthy and to be whole. And I believe that's God's plan for our life as well. Um, I quote this a lot, Isaiah 53, 5, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. He came to make us completely whole. And I believe he also gave us things in the natural, like what we eat and how we take care of our bodies, to, to do that so that we can continue to walk in the health and the healing that he has provided for us through the stripes of Jesus. Um, the stripes that Jesus took on his back for our healing. So I totally believe that's part of my biblical health training is to train you in the word teach you the word so that you can grow in faith and receive your healing according to the word of god and then i'm also a, all about the health coaching to teach you how to lose weight and how to walk in health naturally um, so i hope that that would encourage you as well because i want god's favor to shine through my life so that you will also be inspired to receive God's favor on your life as well. And it starts with having Christ in you. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 says, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought at a price? Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So we want to take care of our temple 
and, and live out how he wants us to live. Um, and then I think about your whys should be the vision that pulls you, that keeps you walking towards your goal and towards your vision and towards what God has for you. So to let your vision be big enough that it, it will pull you towards those goals. Sometimes pain pushes us until our vision pulls us. So sometimes certain things may happen in our lives uh, or something that makes us realize that we need to make a change. So that'll be the push. And when, when you will start moving in that direction to make that change, then you're gonna get to a point that the vision, the whys on why you're making the changes are gonna pull you and keep you going in the right direction. And that's what I want to help encourage you um, to let it do that, to keep walking, keep the, that why in front of your eyes on why you wanna make the change and keep, it'll keep you moving in the right direction. When you keep that why in front of you, you will stay strong. And as you continue to stay strong, then the vision will start pulling you instead of the pain pushing you and then it will keep you going. And again, my biggest why is um, the desire to be the very best that God created me to be to fulfill the plans that he has for me. And you know, that's in the Bible. Ephesians 2.10 says this, which really encouraged me seeing this. And I'm gonna read it to you from two versions just because it'll be, it encouraged me reading both versions. The first one is from the New King James Version and it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. Good works. He created us for good works through Christ Jesus, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And then the um, New Living Translation says it this way, For we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. So that we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. So I want to walk in that. I want to be God's masterpiece. I'm His workmanship through Christ Jesus. And He has good works. He has good things for me to do. Um, and he's planned it for me long ago, and he's done the same for you. He has good works for you. He has good things for you to do. He's got good things planned for your life. So let's work with him. We have the word. We have to stand on the word in faith. And then also, let's do the good things for our body. Let's do the good things for the temple of the Holy Spirit so that we can walk in his favor and inspire others to do the same. Um, I, I talk about healing and help being for us because of the Word of God and I totally believe that because of the stripes that Jesus took for us. And I want to be a, an example of that. I want to be an example of good health and I want the same for you as you're walking in the things that God has for you and anything that you want to do in your life. Because I want to share with you a quote that really stood out to me. So last year, back in July 2022, uh, we were in Maryland uh, that summer for about a week. And while we were there, we went to Harriet Tubman's Museum in Cambridge, Maryland. So if you live in that area, close to that area, or if you're visiting that area, I would encourage you to go see it. It was a good museum and I enjoyed it. And while there, I heard one of her quotes that she said that really spoke to me because of um, what I do for MAD and the ministry that I have and everything. I always have a desire to make a difference for others, to inspire others. Um, and also my book that I wrote, Miracle Road. Um, I want to encourage people in their faith and, for, and, and make a difference in any way possible that I can. So this quote stood out to me. And I'm gonna, I want to say it to you to encourage you to do the same. Um, and hopefully it'll speak to you and encourage you as well. And here's what she said. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. 
Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And that just really spoke to me and it is so true. And especially in when you have Christ in you, even more of the strength, the patience, and the passion you will have to want to change the world, to make a difference in the world because you wanna share Christ with others. And the same as even with health coaching is I wanna help inspire others to make a difference in their lives as well. Um, so I want to encourage you with that because I believe in some way, even if it's just the world around you or if it's a broad spectrum of the world, the whole world, whatever, something in you drawing you to help others and to make a change for you and for others. And I want to encourage you in that. Dream big. Have big whys and big visions and let that pull you to make a difference in your life. Now, if you want to reach out to me, I would love to talk to you um, and would love to be your health coach to walk alongside you and encourage you in your walk to make this change and have tools to provide to you to help you out with that as well. So just reach out to me, send me a message, comment. Um, definitely like and share my video. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm still trying to grow it, so subscribe and like my videos, comment on my videos. Do the, what I've heard someone else say that I really like is do the youtube -y things. But um, if you can do that, I would really appreciate it. And I pray that this video encourages you and blesses you and even builds your faith with the scriptures that I shared that God has great plans for you. So let that be one of your big whys as well. I pray God blesses you and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.